having magazines while in prison is probably one of the most resourceful things that you can have because there are so many different uses that you may not have ever thought were possible. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you about 10 different uses that prisoners use magazines for. And some of these uses, I'm quite sure you will be surprised by. So let's begin. Number one, workout handles. Prisoners will take magazines, roll them up, like so. Tie a sheet or a pillowcase around this handle and this makes for a really good curl bar. Number two, and still staying with prison workouts, prisoners will take magazines, put them inside of a pillowcase for weight. Now you're gonna need a bunch of magazines or however many that you are strong enough to work out with, but prisoners will put those magazines inside of a pillowcase. I swear, there's only like three magazines in this pillowcase. I really gotta get back in shape. Number three, Secret hiding places for messages that you do not want prison guards finding out about. Prisoners can take magazines. What the fuck? There's a tissue inside of this magazine. <laughs> Who gave me these magazines? Ugh. Oh, that's, that's, that's disgusting. Prisoners can open up magazines all the way to the spine of the magazine, pull it back, and leave their message right there with a low risk of prison guards ever knowing that it's even there and then pass this magazine off to whoever it needs to be delivered to. Number four, scrapbooking. I know this sounds crazy, but you have to imagine that there are prisoners who will literally take magazines, go through them, tear out certain pages of those magazines, and then create actual scrapbooks. Things that they want when released. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make this recipe exactly like this. And I'm gonna have a family this big. And I'm gonna marry a chick that looks just like this. Except in a lot of cases, these prisoners go home and completely forget about the scrapbook and go right back to, hey man, do you got any crack? <laughs> scrapbook. And I know all of that sounds crazy, but I have to be honest with you. I mean, I did it a little bit to a degree myself. In fact, this is one of my prison notebooks and it wasn't magazines that I was cutting apart. It was actual newspaper sale ads, stuff that I wanted to buy once released. Look at that, number one. Camera. So yeah, scrapbooking is actually a very big part of some prisoners' lives. In fact, it even offers them some sense of hope while locked up. It offered me quite a bit myself. And by the way, those pictures in the back, uh, those were not part of my scrapbook, okay? Number five, it probably goes without saying that magazines, and usually no matter what kind of magazine, unfortunately, are a great source for masturbation in prison. It doesn't matter what kind of magazine it is, as long as it's got females inside of it, prisoners are usually aroused by anything, even shampoo ads. Ooh, head and shoulders. I kid you not, prisoners will jerk off to anything. Number six, and if it's not actually jerking off to a Marie Claire magazine and a head and shoulders ad inside of it, magazines in prison make a great place to stash your porn. It's not a fail safe, but it does at least get your porn out of the way. Though if being shook down, there is a very high likelihood, unless it is actually taped inside of the magazine or secured in some way, that while prison guards are going through all of your stuff, they will take your magazines, they will go through them, and that porn will fall out of that magazine. Magazines in prison are a great source of smell good resources. And what I mean by that is, you can go through most magazines and find inside of them cologne ads. Right here we got some Chanel, we got some Tom Ford right here. And prisoners will take these, open up those little peel bag sections, ah, and put that all over them. God, that Tom Ford stinks. Ah. See this Chanel. I should have went with the Chanel. Now I smell like a whorehouse. But they will rub this cologne all over them and now you cannot tell them anything. They are now the Don Juans. Hey, how you doing prison CEO lady? I'm smelling real good today. Smelling like that Tom Ford Chanel. Definitely magazines and the cologne section inside of them can be a major ego booster for guys locked up. Number eight, magazines can also be used to make tattoo ink with. Now first, before I go any further, I do need to say this ink 
is not the greatest to use. I don't know much about it at all, though I have used this to tattoo and I know that it works. But what prisoners will do is they'll find pages in magazines, preferably black pages. This one isn't black, it's dark blue. But they will find pages in magazines that are covered with tons of ink. They will then take a razor blade and scrape that razor blade across that page until you start to collect the ink right off of that page. Now I'm not gonna go through this entire process. You can probably see there's only just a little bit that I've got right there. And it does take a lot of scraping and ink collecting to actually make this work, but this does work. I've used it myself. Number nine, if this magazine was not a Food Network magazine and was instead some sort of a Playboy or better penthouse butt man, any sort of a pornographic magazine, well then this magazine would then be considered a platinum credit card inside of prison. That magazine that is not a Food Network magazine but is instead a pornographic magazine, hardcore pornographic magazine, would get you anything, anything, and I mean anything that you ever wanted or needed while locked up by simply renting out this magazine for an hour at a time. And to rent a magazine of that caliber, not a Food Network magazine, but a pornographic magazine for one hour can run upwards of $5 an hour. Can you imagine that? Paying $5 an hour in prison just to masturbate. But it is those pornographic magazines that are absolute gold to have while locked up because they are absolutely class A prison hustles to have while locked up. And all of this finally brings us to number 10. Number 10, what could it be? What could it be? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the 10th different use for magazines while in prison is prison-made body armor. Possibly the most ingenious of them all. If you're in prison and you're beefing with some pretty bad individuals, chances are something like this could save your life. No prison made shank is gonna get through layers of magazines literally saran wrapped or fastened to your chest and body in some way or another. This is like having a bulletproof vest while in prison. And also it could very well save your life while locked up if you are suspecting that somebody in there wants to stab you. Now I hope it goes without saying, but I know it doesn't, so I need to say this. Do not make this or attempt to use this at home for any reason whatsoever. After Prison Show is not condoning anyone out there making this for themselves and then trying to see if it works. But in prison, this is something that guys do. They will strap magazines to their chest, to their stomach, to their back even, if they know there is a possible chance that there is somebody who wants to try to stab them. But sadly, the reality is that in a lot of cases, you really don't know somebody wants to stab you until they do. Hey look, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know exactly what you thought about it. And until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace! Let's give a few shout outs. I'm also gonna announce the winner from the Best Fiends Forever sponsored video. So look for that as well. Starting with Instagram, Sammy Peters, 1001, Robbie Villarino, and Bob Sacamano. Thanks to all of you for your support on Instagram. From Twitter, Nikki Rotel, Legs, and Robert Rickett. Thanks to all of you for rocking with APS on Twitter. And from my last video, let's shout out Charlie Hacks Zero R, Fade X, and Laura. Say Dadge. Laura Say Dadge. Sorry if I mispronounced that. And last, the winner from the Best Fiends Forever sponsored video goes to Game Julie. Julie, you have won a signed pullover ta -ta 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 t shirt from me. Please message me on Twitter or Instagram so I can get this to you. Thanks to everyone for rocking with APS, and until next time, peace.